So under orders, start running steps, they're away and running. Once again, 18 fences to take at the Bradford on the green point of one course, and the one who bounces out of the gate in front is Bally Marlow as they head on to the first. From Starsky Day Mott streaming over, the debutant silver medal jumped it with plenty of air in the back of the field. So quickly on the second, Bally Marlow and Ben Brackenbury lead the way by half a length from Starsky Day Mott as they all safely over the second, once again silver made with a little novice, also a little novice just preceding that one was... Yeah. Bradley Marlow who shows the way, uh, just half a length as they take that first left-handed turn, some machine Mark Wall have now moved up to press the leader, Starsky Day Mock back in third and then comes May the first and Candide, Fizz racing just behind that leading quintet, and then in midfield, Lady Barford, Kate 118, Gray, first of the Greys, that's Glass of Wine and Pete Man, and the final trio are Miss Millie Massini, Midnight Sizzler, and finally Silver Medal. So this is the open ditch for the first time, and they all jumped it well. Silver Medal jumped that probably better than had done the previous three. So now, longer run to the Final playing fence on this section of the course, still tightly grouped up front, but the very pale colours of Bally Marlow show the way to some machine who races on the inside of Starsky Day Mott as they stream over that silver medal, a slight mistake. Racing in fourth is May the 1st, Sam Davis Thomas, who was in winning form at Parham in Sussex yesterday. So they've got a long run now on the flat. Go through the dip and then they've got three playing fences to face up on this section of the course. Race in midfield, the bright blue jacket of Jim Fizz, the quarter colours on the inside of Lady Barford. That pair are being racing alongside Candide in the centre of the field. So they're in the dip, just waiting for them to reappear. And here they come at the top of the rise and the Head on to fence number six. Still Bally Marlow showing the way. We got into the roots of that. Did Bally Marlow another one to give it a good hefty smack was May the 1st. Sam Davis Thomas sat tight. And Bally Marlow continues with the lead. Onto the net. Been pressed up on the outside by the nose banded Starsky Day Mott. Midnight Sizzler didn't get very high towards the back of the field. So running down into the dip. And Starsky Day Mott has just gone on, but only fractionally from the long time leader Bally Marlow. Behind those on the inside in the blue and orange is Sub Machine. The main fence comes up very quick out of the dip. Then comes Jim Fizz racing on the outside of May the 1st, who made another mistake. One who's made a bit of ground now to go in the fifth is Candide. Following that on the inside is grey glass of wine. So the jumpers will be the second last in the circuit's time. Also in mid-division is Coates 118, Lady Barford, and the back trio have been the back trio throughout, but they're still well enough in touch. Miss Millie Massini, Midnight Sizzler, and finally Silver Medal. That'll be the last in a circuit's time. Silver Medal down on his nose, but picked up by Gina Andrews. He's made a few mistakes on his first circuit. Of pointing as a debutant silver medal, but still going with a circuit to run. And it's the orange and black jacket of Starsky Day Mott looking to improve on his second at Cottenham last time out. Leads the way from Bally Marlow, then on the inside racing in third is Sun Machine, then comes Glass of Wine in fourth. Candide hit that one in fifth, then comes May the first. Lady Barford racing in seventh. Cape 118 is just being ridden along by the Lucia Kinchi, then comes. Miss Millie Massini, Midnight Sizzler, Silver Medal has now relegated Ginny Fizz to last and that one's under pressure and struggling. Onto the open ditch for the final time and still pretty closely grouped up front. One who hit the ditch was Sun Machine. Mark Wall at the buckle end of the reins and that one is the next one to come off the bridle at the back of the field. Gin Fizz is beginning to tail off but Starsky Mark still leads the way from May the 1st, Bally Marlow and Candy. They make up the leading four. Candy jumps up into second there. The others getting over it. Silver medal, another mistake, and Jim Fizz has pulled up. So on this long run, 
Along the top of the track, inside their final miles, Foskey Day Martin Bell Peters lead the way. From in second place is Candy. May the first has made a few mistakes, but stood in there with every chance. Up on the outside of Candy, then comes Glass of Wine. Lady Bath are just beginning to come off the bridle now in fifth for Toby Bettenborough as they go into the dip for the final time. Got about three quarters of a mile left to run, five playing fences left to take. And Starsky Damoc still shows the way from in second. Pressing up on the outside is Candide. And these two beginning to go away now from May the 1st, who makes a mistake on the inside of that one. Glass of wine, Lady Bath with no more to give. Bally Marlow is beginning to weaken at the back of the field. Pulled up the silver medal. On to the fourth last. Starsky Damoc travelling a bit better than Candide and jumped the fourth last. Well, they've got 10 lengths clear now. Glass of wine, Lady Bath with the weakening May the First, Bally Marlow, one who's picking a few off and catching the eye is Midnight Sizzler. As Bally Marlow's pulling up and over three out, Candide's right alongside Starsky Day as they swing left handed into the turn. Two fences left to take on the inside. Starsky Day Mod, another good jump there goes on Marley. Candide on the outside trying to rally under Sam Painting, down the 18th, the final fence, won't go away, Candide, still only a length in it, another fella jump by Starsky Damoc, as they run for the judge, Starsky Damoc, Candide, very game, fighting back, it'll go to the judge, tight between Starsky Damoc and Candide, they're well clear of glass of wine in third, and then Midnight Sizzler and Lady Barford battling out for fourth and fifth, I would imagine most of the others have pulled up.